Hi, I'm Sean O'Kane with Ship Estimate TV, where we bring you the latest trends and information in IP and semiconductor design in the EDA industry. We're at the TSMC OIP Ecosystem 2016. Join me as we talk to a number of partners who have collaborated with TSMC on ultra-low power IoT platforms and subsystems. Hi, I'm Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV. With me today is Lisa Minwell, Senior Director, IP Marketing with eSilicon. Thank you very much for joining me, and it's good to see you again. Yes, thanks for having me. Looking yeah. forward. Yeah, so when you were at the Design Automation Conference this last summer, you spoke of different design challenges, specifically memory cost scaling, and the challenge to meet required bandwidth capacity, uh, power consumption at at low cost. So how does eSilicon deal with, with those challenges? Uh, good question. Um, well, uh, you know, DRAM has not scaled recently uh, as we look at 20 nanometer and below. Uh, the cost of DRAM usually improves 30% uh, year on year. Uh, and we're not seeing that. We're seeing uh, some challenges with the uh, storage capacitance and with the uh, SunSamp margins. Um, so there are some new uh, memory technologies that are available, uh, one of which is high bandwidth memory. And uh, so we're incorporating that uh, with 2.5D solutions. Um, today here uh, we have announced um, uh, our silicon results of a 28 nanometer um, HBM5 that we've developed internally um, using uh, also TSMC COAS technology. And so. Uh, yeah, we're solving that problem using 2.5D <laughs> solutions. <laughs> Let's talk about a new program uh, East Silicon started called Modular Z-Axis Integration, or Mosaic. You did that in t uh, 2011. Yeah. And <laughs> so can, can you just give a brief history of the program and how it's helped lower development costs, increase performance, and low power benefits. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, back in that time frame, we were noticing that uh, our customers had very large ASICs, uh, many times greater than 1,500 pin count, um, and we were running out of board real estate, basically. So we knew we had to do something for uh, increasing bandwidth, especially with the cloud coming. Um, and uh, so with that program, we studied various different substrates, um, different uh, assembly technologies, um, uh, the high bandwidth memory and, and uh, building the PHY uh, for that. Um, and we have seven test chips to date across multiple uh, technologies and uh, really prepared ourselves to uh, serve our multiple customers that we have today. Okay. Now Let's talk about a brand new program. Huh? It's an online uh, a program uh, or online approach to evaluating IP. Very unique. Uh, that's eSilicon created called Star Navigator. Uh -huh. Now, you, you were a big part of this, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, eSilicon has a set of online tools. Uh, they're called Star. Um, and uh, Na Navigator is one of those tools. What makes it uh, interesting is that it makes all of eSilicon developed IP available uh, to our customers online. And this is no different really from other IP providers to make the IP available online, but what is different um, is that we preload all, all the power performance and area and data statistics so that customers can very quickly go in, get quick answers, um, and do some very quick planning. Mm -hmm. um, before they actually go off and generate, uh, they can generate their own uh, memory instances for download to use and, and try, basically, mm -hmm. uh, before they buy. The new item is that uh, we're enabling customers to purchase online. So we'll see where that goes. Well, you never know <laughs> who you, you'll never know who you meet at TSMC OIP. Let's look at this guy. Oh, hey, no. Mr. Hey, Mr. Mr. Mike Gianfagna. Hey. Hey, how are you? Hi, right. Lisa. <laughs> so, so you guys must be talking about HBM uh, and Navigator, well, I I'm, would assume. Uh, yeah. I'm talking about the brand new program yeah, yeah, yeah. that I got in the email yesterday mm -hmm. uh, about uh, 
the Navigator. Yeah. Maybe you want to elaborate just a little bit. So I'm sure Lisa's told you some of the details, but what's interesting is this is a first time that a customer can upload a purchase order and download back-end views on the internet. So this is a first of its kind in right. the industry. It's this is a piece of the platform. The big picture on the platform is we're helping people with a complete flow front to back. Most businesses have moved to the internet. I think you're seeing it happen all the time. Semiconductor, not so, not so much. We're blazing the trail and we're moving the semiconductor design and manufacturing process to the internet. You can use our star platform to evaluate IP, check what you want, try before you buy, and then buy it online. You can also get quotes and reserve multi-project wafers online and basically upload the GDS2, automatically get downloaded DRC results. By the way, the university research community is loving that. Yeah. We did two university tape outs last year in June. This year we did 30. Huge this growth is, there. Yeah. You can do a GDS2 tape out and get an online quote for that. And if we're building the chip for you, you can track it in the supply chain front to back. So it's a complete program to help you find the right IP and then build it with eSilicon. We've got 1,300 registered users of Star Platform today in 54 mm -hmm. countries. We have closed business with customers we've never spoken with. Doesn't oh. happen every day, <laughs> but every once in a while someone will log in, generate a quote, sign it, send it back, and we have a new customer, and we never met them. Very it will happen soon that we will close a deal in a country no one's ever been to at Silicon. It's coming. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's coming. Well, as I said briefly, yep. uh, it, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is great, great stuff. Uh, excellent. So I appreciate you being here. So Thank you. Uh, for Lisa Minwell and uh, Mr. Mike Gianfagna. You well, can e only say it right. It's amazing. With eSilicon, <laughs> my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Ship Estimate TV. Bye.